Hello and welcome back to episode 4, I think, of Road Maintenance Simulator. Let's play, let's find out what, before driving, be sure to close the tailgate properly. Yes. Let's find out what we've got in store for today's mission. Hopefully, we're going to have something a little bit more interesting than what we've done we've got to make that the habit open the gate first or else we're getting in and out of the truck all the time clean the guardrail clean the guardrail a section of the guardrails along the federal road is totally grimy and gross I want it to sparkle clean the affected areas using the power washer I think I can handle that Take the vehicle with the power washer. That's this one here. Is it something different? It is. It's the Unimog. And what do we need to do? Drive the vehicle to the starting point. We will. We will indeed. What the? They like that, don't they? <laughs> uh, guardrail. So it looks like we've got 12 to do. Where are we going? Right. So this will be interesting. This is new. We've not used any of this before. That washer looks like it's like a brush type thing. A bit like a hedge. It looks like, but it's not. So I'm guessing it, it comes out on the boom, and then we just kind of brush it, clean it, brush it, sort of thing. Ah, that one. Alright. Space Q, hold down Q to keep it all going. That is cool. E turns it on. Awesome. Get the handbrake off. Cool. I'm going to try and keep the circle within the white lines at the bottom there. So this is a bit different. I still haven't managed to work out if there's a way that we can view from the outside. We can toggle off the hub I don't see why we would need to do that unless we're doing thumbnail pictures or stuff like that, I guess. How many have we done? We've done six so far, so I guess it's just this one rail. Steady. Steady. So, if this is it, we're going to get two missions in this job. In this episode. We are nearly done. Are we there yet? There we go. E to turn it off. Q to bring it back in. And handbrake off. Drive on, driver. Park the vehicle and it's a sign spot. I will do that. So I hope everyone's doing great. The weather's been wet, but 
warm. I like the warm. That's what we want. Warmer weather. So I wonder what the next mission is going to be. Come on, orange van. Looks like one of our vans. Let's at least get it into the rectangle, I guess. Mission accomplished. Uh, achievement unlocked. Foam! Alright, let's close that and let's find the next job then. That was nice and quick, wasn't it? Nice, quick, easy one. Replace guardrail on the highway. Chaos on the highway. Guardrails were badly damaged. You know the drill. Get the necessary materials. Cordon off the work area while you're working. And replace the guardrails. As usual, you'll need to dispose of the old guardrails in a dumpster. In the service yard, times are wasting. Get those rails back up before someone crashes into them again. Okay. So, we're going to take our usual van by the looks of it. The one with the... The old what's it in the back. So, in we get. Start her up. Off we trot. Over to here. Open you. Now, what are we putting in? Low traffic beacon bases. Oh, yeah. So we need to do the whole cordon thing. And put the rails in. How many will we need to do? We want ten beacon bases, so with a bit of luck it will give us the option to load the rest of them once we've done five. Yep. Yes please, there we go, thank you. And we want these. of these so put five in and then it should prompt us to do the other five yes please next guardrails these nope Oh, we want that. Sweet. Guardrails over here. Need to do it in order, apparently. Oh, they're heavy. I don't think I would actually be able to manage one of those on my own. I think that's a two-man job. I might have to complain about... Um, Lifting things overweight. One more. Splendid. Now what? Wheelbarrow. Where is that? What's over there? It's over here. Now this is E. That's right. Apparently we can just drive through stuff with it. What? I don't know. That's in there. Close the tailgate. Is that it? That is it. Okay. In we get. Start her up. And off we go to the work site. We're going to 
going to stick to the rule of not looking and just pull out. It seems to be the best option. Right, where are we going? Left. Yep. Nobody's going to crash into us. We might be. <laughs> we might crash into people, but I don't think they're going to crash into us. Let's overtake. Because we're not scared. We've got a job to get to. We've got to do it now. Come on, people. We've got things to do, and I want to close the road in front of you. Well, what? Whoa up. Where are we going? Off the side. Oh, I suppose I better stay behind. Would anyone employ me to do this? Yeah, they probably would. Go down the hard shoulder and then cut across the front. Oh, we're actually stopping here. Okay. Put the sign on the back, turn it off, and jump out. Open it up. Put the wheelbarrow there. Now what? Place traffic beacons. Hey, we can put it in there. It's just that I couldn't pick it up when I tried to the other day. It wouldn't. No, we can't put any more in it, so we do this one. I think I had an achievement come up then, but I missed it. I'm not sure. here that will do it let's have you there you there you there whoa up that was impressive oh, we can go much faster when we're not loaded Well, this is much easier when you can use the wheelbarrow, isn't it? So, what's it? This is episode four. So, I wonder. Let me know in the comments below. Have any of you bought this game now? Since um, you've seen me playing it, is it something that's interested you? If you have, how many missions have you done? In all fairness, I think you could probably get half the missions done in an evening. It's relatively quick paced. And I guess... Uh, what have we done? We did... One mission for the first episode, but we did two missions for the second episode. For the third episode we did uh, one mission and this one is our second mission of this episode so let's say we've done uh, six so far and they're not overly time consuming Only three of those per jobby. Look at these in. They are pretty wonky, those rails, though, aren't they? We'll get them done soon enough. I presume we're going to have to. 
pack away as well. Although it might say, you have been relieved from your post now that you have done a, su a successful railing replacement. You do not need to pack up. I bet it doesn't do that. No, you dingus. I can't reach them. Bit sad. Stick that one in there. How many we got left? Two. That's all right. We'll take the take the wheelbarrow. We'll come back for the other two. Yeah, so we haven't really done any, well this is going to be the first kind of proper roadside actual maintenance other than, you know, the unexciting jobs. Let's go on this side, a bit easier. No, stop doing that. Put you up now. So we get these two in. I do like this kind of interactive stuff. I think um, Farm Sim kind of misses a trick by not not doing it. You know. How's this work then? Oh, E. Cool. Now what? I'll take the rail off. Yeah, okay. Take the rail off, stick it in the truck. Can I put a new rail? On yet? No. Do I need to take them all off first? Seems that way. I'm fine with that. Yeah, this type of interactive stuff is something that is missed. That sounded like the battery was going to die on my gun. <laughs> You imagine having this type of stuff in farm sim. So you got all your farm, all your normal farm, farmy type things, but then you can go and go and put up a, an electric fence to keep the sheep in. Or put up a new fence. I know that we have tree felling and stuff like that, so that's that's kind of this a similar sort of thing, but if you could put a fence up yourself properly properly dig a hole and put a tree in rather than it just miraculously be there because that's where you've placed it. I think they do miss a trick with some of their stuff. Personally, so how many is that we've done? One, two, three, and four. Okay, so we are putting the new ones in now. Outstanding. Yeah, and put traffic cones out because you're cutting a tree down on farm so That would be cool. Let's do the furthest one away then. We'll work our way back. There we go. Oh, okay. We need to do it once. Yeah, 
Need to do that three times. Road's very quiet on our side. The other side is busy. But I, I don't think I've actually seen a car come by. Interesting. Two more to go then. Let's get these last two on. Those trees look a bit... Don't they? <laughs> one. And that one. Nice. And then we'll pack it all up. Excellent. I'm going to put you back in there. We're packing up loads the traffic beacons. That's what we're going to do. bit disappointed that you can't get any more in there because quite blatantly you can you'd be able to get nearly all of them in there if it was me in real life I would That was a mistake, wasn't it? <laughs> Not to worry. <clears throat> Not to worry. Grab the old wheelie barrow. I'd like to know in the comments, actually, what other simulator games would you like to see so we have things we've got like train simulator we've had construction simulator uh, we've had like um, we've, we, obviously we've got the farming sim games but um, you know what, what other ones we've got I tell you what we have got coming out that I've seen uh, another truck simulator is not um, ETS, and it's not like it's not from the people that eat that do ETS or ATS. This is a new one. It's an Australian truck driver, I think it's called. I've only seen a few clips of it. It's not out. I don't even think it's out. I could be wrong there. As um, beta. I don't think it's beta yet. Okay. Like I said, I could be wrong. But I have seen some gameplay footage of it, which I think was from the developers. Uh, and actually, I tell you what, that looks interesting because that is interactive. So you, unlike ETS, when you load up your trailer, you have to get out, you have to take the, um, you have to lift the jacks off of the trailer, 
so that they're not down. You have to couple up the air lines for the brakes and all the hydraulics and stuff like that. And the electrics. And you can get in and out of the truck and walk around properly. So that looks like it has some potential. Um, but yeah, what other games, what other what other things would you like to see simulated like that? I think we've almost got everything kind of covered. We've had like the Dynasty game, so Farm Dynasty and Lumberjack Dynasty and what is the other one? What was the other one? I'm trying to think now. They did a, they've done a few of those dynasty type games, haven't they? Right, back in the truck. F. Turn the thing off. Start it off we trot. And then we're gonna have to unload it, obviously. So this has been a slightly longer episode because actually we got a a job that was I'm gonna say it, was was worth doing. All the other ones have been pretty pokey really. Nothing overly exciting. Lick litter picking for goodness sakes is not uh, a stand up job that we all want to do. <laughs> Especially our first day on the job and we go litter picking. That was great when it episode one. <laughs> Never mind. So where are we going? We're gonna come off here, which is Lutzen, Lutzen, because it's got the umlaut over the top, so that would be Lutzen, wouldn't it? Lutzen. Wow! He drives like Mr. P. <laughs> if you've watched Mr. P, and I highly recommend you do, when he drives Euro Truck or ATS. ETS or ATS. Yeah. Steer clear. Keep a wide berth of him. Plus we're talking about other creators. Warco Entertainment is another one you want to check out. And are we racing? Are we racing, racing? I mean, seriously. I don't even know why I stopped. I thought my rule, my rule is, don't stop at junctions. Here we are then. And we've got to unload this paraphernalia. Drive vehicle to the service yard, open the tailgate. And it says, Unload the wheelbarrow first. We've been here before. <laughs> e. It was right. So into the bin. Should really drive the van up here. It would be quicker, wouldn't it? Oh, decent sound effect. Drive the van up. Truck, van, wagon, utility vehicle. That's 
this down here. I'll bring the van back to offload the other bits. I'm actually going to do this a bit differently. So it's that one. I'm going to do it like this, which is going to be much quicker. And all the walking that we usually do. And it should give us the option once we've done five to automatically offload the last five. Yep. And then we can do these bits which are just there don't be a yep close that and then we can put it away And that will be us for this episode. Mission accomplished. Guardrail. <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. And may the weather be with you. <laughs>